On Saturday, Andy, both our senior teams won their pre-season friendly matches against Tortonians. Did it go according to plan from your point of view? Yeah, yeah, we were we were pretty satisfied with the way things went. Uh, you're always um, going into those sort of games with a bit of uncertainty. You, firstly, how your your selection would perform, uh, and and what the opposition are going to be like. We, you know, at this stage of the season, you can't really take league status as a, as an indication. They play a couple of leagues below us, and uh, we know they've been promoted for a couple of seasons, and and so. Um, you know, you know, we've got a, a real team togetherness, and uh, I think that showed on occasions in that uh, some of our guys were struggling to to, to find each other just because of lack of playing with each uh, each other enough. Um, but the first game, the Stags versus their um, their second team, they'll play each other again later in the season because they play in that uh, solo second team league that the Stags are now going to be playing in next year. So that gives them a good indication of, of what they might be up against. Um, I think the satisfying thing from my point of view was that they didn't concede a try. Um, you know, we scored two tries and really probably could have scored another th three or four, but for just sort of poor decision making at the, at the vital moment. So I'm sure once we um, get that ironed out and people understand who's around them, that they will take those opportunities. But yes, to to uh, not concede a try, just the one-off penalty was was most satisfying. Um, so that was that was good, and we saw a lot of the, the younger lads who were in last year's Colts playing, and a few new guys um, gave them the opportunity to put on a Newbury shirt for the first time, uh, and and they came through. So yeah, that was satisfying. And then the the, the first team game, same thing really, um, in that we chucked a lot of combinations together uh, that have never played. So in the centre, for instance, in the first half, uh, with Phil Simmons and JJ playing together, never played together. Then we took JJ off and brought on uh, Reese Griffiths, who joined us very late in the week last week. Um, but Simbo and, and those and Reese had not, not played together, and then um, put JJ on instead of Simbo. So um, a sense of you know midfields really not not used to playing with each other. So I was quite pleased that we we engineered some good tries. Um, and again, you know we yeah we conceded we conceded tries, and we'll look at that tonight. Um, because we need to sort of iron out that side of things. There's no point in saying, well, but we scored six and they only scored four or whatever. Uh, the fact is they scored four and, you know, we can't afford to do that every week. So we'll look at that, um, but it probably is just nothing more than just understanding of where each other should be. So, yeah, a solid performance uh, and, and one I was, I was quite happy with. It's, it's, it's time that we had a, a few tries scored and, and, and got a win and, you know, this Thursday will yeah. be a, a next step up, really. OK, so do we want to talk about Thursday then? Our old friends from Haven't are coming up to see us, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been great over the years that we've been able to play each other and, and uh, get something out of it. Um, and, you know, I contacted them in the summer and they were keen to play again. They now play at a, a, exactly the same level as us. They're in the same level, but in the London uh, section. Uh, so it will be a real step up and it'll give us an indication of just where we stand for, for this coming season. Uh, always a tough opposition, uh, and I'm sure they'll be coming up to, to kick, you know, kickstart their their, their pre-season and so forth. Um, we've got a few people that weren't around on Saturday to come into the squad. Uh, we're playing a we'll play the same as we did at the weekend, and that we'll have two halves rather than these twenties and thirties, which often happen. So we're going for two halves, but allow both sides to make whatever replacements they want to make. Um, and we'll be looking at a, a fairly big squad. Uh, and just running, you know, making the changes probably at half time, um, just to see how we go in, in certain combinations. So it's uh, it, it hopefully we'll we'll just finish off our pre season and make it a little bit easier for us to decide what uh, what the makeup will be of that first first weekend. Okay, and what time's kick off on Thursday? Kick off is seven thirty. I think it does say somewhere seven, but it's a seven thirty okay. kick off. It gives them time, and quite honestly, gives our own players time to get here. You know, bearing in mind everybody works. Um, so you know, getting off work and then getting here for a decent time. So uh, we've gone for 7.30 kickoff, uh, and that's why they wanted to transfer it back here because um, we're going to need lights at some stage, even if it's the brightest day. And if it's anything like today, we'll probably need them from the kickoff, quite honestly. <laughs> um, so our lights are obviously better standard than theirs, which means that uh, both sides will benefit from a, a decent evening game. OK, and it's free to get in again, isn't free it? Free to get in again, yeah. OK, no excuses then. Come and watch. OK. Thanks, Andy.